I see daylight on the other end. Hello, creeper. No, no, no. Okay, fair enough. God damn it, creeper. Always with your shenanigans. Get out of the hole. No! Oh god! Fuck! <laughs> Pay attention! Okay, there's... Wow! Instant replay! Okay. Wow! Instant replay! Now oh, I have nowhere to dodge in that direction. Okay, I need to get some light up here. Yeah. Oh, you're going to blow up, aren't you? Of course you are. Oh, God. Run. <laughs> food. Eat the food. Eat your food. <laughs> wow, a lot of monsters out of nowhere. Okay. Um, okay, so replace the... Uh, wow. Nice job, guys. Yeah, man, zombie. And all of a sudden it... Oh, did the sun just set, I guess, huh? That's why it turned to night. I wonder if... I should probably go um, sleep in the bed to make that daylight out there. But I'm just a little bit too greedy. I will, I'm, I'm going to turn around in a second, actually. Is that more desert? The hell happened? Am I? <laughs> I don't get it. I thought it would the environment would be different. Well, um, I'm gonna go sleep in the bed to make it daylight, so I can take a peek out there and see what the forlorn rest is all about. From what I can tell, it looks like more desert, which is completely what I was not expecting. I was expecting something totally different. Uh, oh, this is not very big. Looks like some kind of oasis. I do not trust that sand. Sam, I am. I would much rather be up on this. Um, yeah, let me... Uh, I kind of had to do that. Let's see. Let's put this there. I needed a better way to get up to this. Um, and then let's... Spread this out, and be careful that nothing falls on my head. So this is the Forlorn Rest. There's still some, a few monsters out. There's something down there. That looks like ice, like water. Oh, these are graves. Those are graves. Cool. Okay, so let me get some torches out. I need to light this area up while it is daylight, so nothing else spawns here. Whoa, there's a lot of monsters around here now. <laughs> okay, I'm running away. Look at all those monsters. Hello, Creeper. Oh, sure, just blow that up. Oh, whatever, fine. I'll come back later and fix it. I'm low on torches anyway, so... What are you doing here, skeleton? God damn it! Ah! Oh, man, a creeper. Damn. No! No, no, no! Calm down. These resupply <laughs> treks I'm having to take have become quite lengthy trying to get back to the home of victory. I think when I go for the pyramid in the center of the uh, West Commons. I think I'm gonna build a rail line out to it just to get to and from it faster because um, now that I think about it, I haven't found wool in the West Commons and I expect there to be wool somewhere in it. And look at that, I, maybe there's no falling traps, maybe there are, there's uh, sandstone under one block of sand. Um, so I expect there to be some sort of fortress, maybe inside the pyramid or something, and uh, I'll probably have to go back and forth a few times to get supplies, or maybe I'll make a little supply dump or something. Um, but uh, regardless, it's it's taken a long time to get back here to, to go to get torches and come back. 
So I think I will be, um, let's, look at me standing on this gravestone to avoid falling traps. How disrespectful. Um, as soon as I finish lighting this up, I'm going to look in this hole and maybe under the water here, see if there's anything here besides the graves. I don't, I don't know if this is just some sort of visual thing. I, I assume this is another area with uh, maybe a piece of wool somewhere. Maybe not. Who knows? And look at me just walking on the sand. Oh, here I am. I'm going to put some sand. Aha! Oh, treasure chest. Look at that. And that is black. I wonder what that is. Is that obsidian? I wonder if all the graves are falling traps. Interesting. <laughs> the one time I decide to not stand on the falling block when I put a torch down, I find the falling trap. Get, get out of here, cacti, little thingy, shrubby thingy. One, two. Hmm, maybe I should be a little more careful. But it looks like there's... I could just dig up this sand, yeah, and... Um, figure out that it's safe to stand right here. One, two, because right here I'm on the edge of that block. So I think that's what I'll do. i just dig a little path through here so that I can make sure that it's safe to stand on these blocks. And something goes there. Let's see what's in this treasure chest right here. Oh, that was just um, a sort of a lighting glitch. That's bedrock down there at the very bottom. Let's, let's see what's in this box. Hey, brown, really? Brown wool just like that? That doesn't make any sense. That does not make any sense. Why, why is it? That's the easiest wool ever. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, let me stand up on... And a small falling trap. I don't understand why that wool is so easy to get to. Hmm. Is it? I don't, I don't know. I'm confused. I th is there like some trap I'm missing that I, is gonna be sprung on me any second now? Another small falling trap. Okay, night is falling. One, two, so that one. Another small falling trap. And I still haven't lit up enough for this to be safe at night. Another small falling trap. Uh, maybe I have. All that's lit up. I think, yeah, I'm still going to get some monsters, but that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Whoops. Don't want to break my, my grid of awesomeness. Come on, zombie. <laughs> Ow! I dodged the wrong way. Oh! Did you fall out? You must have fell off the top there. What was a one arrow skelly? Very rare in these pots. There's oh, there's another. Oh, I think I busted that grave, or maybe it was already busted. Come on, spider! Come get some. You too, I guess. Zombie wants a hug. That's the wrong spot. There we go. Almost done lighting this up. And then I guess I'll light up that hole. I'm still really befuddled at finding the... Uh, I need to be careful not to fall into that hole, actually. That hole right... Yeah, this one. Here, let me... um. Let me cover that hole up, just so that very thing doesn't happen later on. Hi guys! Skeleton over there, so there's a few monsters here and there, but uh, nothing too major anymore. Come 
Come get some, Skelly. Ow. Ow. Oh, look at my life. Heal yourself, fool. Oh. Um, let's see. Almost done. Let me get on top. Oh, what did I? Yeah, just a small one again. Where? Oh, you're down there, eh? Down there, eh? Oh, don't do Oh, Skelly, you're so silly. Ah! <laughs> God. Okay, um, let's finish lighting this up. Let's see, I need a torch right there. And then I can start doing uh, lighting up this hole. Whoa! So I still need to look in the water. I think uh, I'm gonna move the wool to my little house though, while it's nighttime. I'll get about a dozen of it at first, and then I'll, I'll come back for the rest later. I'm still befuddled that that wool was that easy to acquire. Oh, I didn't I didn't trigger this grave. Um, I th okay, so I think I've triggered all the graves now. So I still need to investigate that big hole in the ground and um, the water. All right, well, the wool is safely tucked away in the little house I have back there. And I'm ready to finish this area. Before I go swimming, I'm gonna put some torches down in this pit. Oh, hello, creeper. You know what? I wonder if this was supposed to be a trap? All this, this big hole here, I wonder if this was a trap that was triggered by a slime at some point. Like, uh, what happened in the East Commons when I heard that big explosion off in the distance and found a big crater. This looks, this hole looks like TNT exploded here. And I'm wondering if this is a trap that was supposed to be, uh, triggered by myself. And not just this big crater here. I wonder what got blown up. I wonder if there was uh, boxes or some kind of treasure or spawners or who knows. But this, like the random nature of the ground here, it looks just like TNT went off. So this is all lit up, but I don't see anywhere um, to dig or anywhere to go. There's nothing under that sand. So I don't know what the deal is here. I think this must have been a trap that was triggered by accident before I got here. So let's see. I have the wool. Let's go. Ch let's go check out this little um, underwater thing here. If there's nothing here, I guess we'll head back to the Victory Monument to uh, put the wool on the to put the wool on the on the on the monument. All right, all right get out of here, Squiddy. What's under here? Anything? Sandstone, sandstone, sandstone. Squiddy, are you are you blocking anything, Squiddy? Nothing. Okay, it's just a little lake. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess that's that's the forlorn rest. Nice and lit up. I spent, I think I used like four stacks of torches. Um, totally unnecessary, but hey, I like lighting things up. If you haven't figured that out by now, so let's go ahead and take the rest of the wool. And head back to the Victory Monument and place this sucker on there. <clears throat> okay, here we are, back in the Victory Monument. Hello, storage stack. Hello, uh, propagating mushrooms. I'm actually going to move the mushrooms out of here, I think. Maybe into the desert at some point. Once I've um, lit it up and figured out where the falling traps are and are not. It's so that it's safe to just go around clicking on blocks and stuff. Um, anyway, there's not a lot of room here for them to expand forever, but uh, they have been multiplying. So anyway, brown wool, <laughs> the, the most easily acquired wool in a super hostile yet, found in a grave. Yep, I'm a grave robber. 
Brown wool. So let's see. Five, six, seven, eight pieces of wool. Moving right along. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, next time we'll be exploring that pyramid and the big vertical hole out in the center of the West Commons. Uh, see you later. Take it easy. Have a good day.